Welcome to this tutorial on creating a mail merge in Microsoft Word 2013. A mail merge pulls information from spreadsheet programs like Microsoft Excel and database programs like Microsoft Access. Information in these programs should be stored in separate columns or fields according to categories like first and last name, address, phone numbers, etc. This allows Word to read the information and then place it where you need it in the document. For this example, we're going to use mail merge to create labels. I'm going to create a new document. And what I want to do here is go to my Mailings tab, choose Start Mail Merge, and then choose Labels. This then brings up the Label Options dialog box. This allows you to choose who made the labels that you're using. You can choose the number of the label here. This number is usually printed on the label packaging. When you're ready to create this document, go ahead and click OK. This gives you a new document with the correct formatting for the label sheet that you specified. If you do not see the lines, which is sometimes a problem in 2013, click on your Layout tab here at the top in our Table Tools. Look over here on the left-hand side where you have View Grid Lines, and this will turn the grid lines on and off in Word. And it really does help when working with these label sheets to see where the different labels are. I'm going to click back to the Mailings tab, select my recipients, and click Open. Click OK to select the first sheet. And now I'm ready to insert my fields. Notice that it puts this next record in each one. This tells the mail merge that for each new cell they want the same form fields or the same merge fields, but just want to move it on to the next entry. So for these labels I'm just going to start with an address block. Here in the preview I can see I don't see the organization name listed in the, as part of the address block. To fix this, I can click on Match Fields. In this case, for Company, I can select Organization Name. Click OK. And now that corrects my labels. Click OK. And something that's very helpful in creating these labels, instead of having to put that address block in each one of these boxes, I can choose Update Labels. And what that will do then is add the address block in each of these labels, including the next record field. Now if I preview the results, you can see that it actually moves through my mail merge and sets those up correctly. Here I have some spacing issues, so I'm just going to remove some of this extra spacing. Here I can select the table and change some of my formatting options. I'm going to go back to the Home tab and just adjust my line spacing so that these are formatted a little bit better for my labels. In this case, when you finish this merge, it may be fine just to do print documents or you can do edit individual documents. This again is another good idea because if you have any mistakes you can edit those individually then print them when you're done. This concludes our tutorial on mail merging in Word 2013. If you have any questions or would like more handouts and tutorials please visit our website. Thanks for watching.